What's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Talk. And we just got back from the theaters to go see GameStop Rise of the Players. Let's talk. My friends created a revolution. It's like the villagers storming the castle. David and Goliath story. So GameStop Rise of the Players is directed by Jonah Tulis, if I'm pronouncing that right, which I hope I am. And it is telling the story from a few Reddit users from last year. You might have heard about the GameStop short squeeze, which was when the GameStop stock skyrocketed, or in this movie, as they say, went to the moon. So... We just got out and we're just... To the moon! <laughs> the moon with a D. <laughs> Matt, what did you think? Uh, I want to start by saying I am no way, shape, or form involved in the stock market. It is way above my head. Y yeah, I don't this understand is something... any of that. Um, we went to just see a GameStop movie, a, a, a documentary. We enjoy documentaries. Um, so as far as a documentary goes... I thought it was informational, as all documentaries are. Uh, nothing special. I think it's kind of weird that something like this was in a theater. Uh, this could have been an HBO Max type deal, you know? Something like that. Netflix. I don't think you need to go rush and see this in a movie theater unless you're really, really into the whole GameStop stock debacle, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, we learned some things, but again, it's, you don't need to go see it. It was okay. Yeah, I kind of echo a lot of those thoughts as far as, like, I am also not involved in the stock market. I didn't actually know a lot of these people, or, like, I knew, I obviously, I heard about the stock market craze going on early last year at Robin Hood and GameStop. But I couldn't tell you who Roaring Kitty was until today. Yeah, I know. Like, so this was all stuff that I... Like, cool guy. Know, yeah, it seemed cool. Everyone seemed cool. It's nice to see a nice story of David vs. Goliath, as they even brought up in the documentary, of like seeing the little guy get one over on the you know, big bad corporations. You, know, you don't see that much, and it was nice to see in a documentary form. But, like Matt said, my, the biggest thing, that this didn't have to be in theaters. I mean, you know, right now with how theaters are going, what should be and what shouldn't be, this was a Talking Heads documentary, essentially, you know, just interviews, it's like pretty basic, like editing, and it wasn't the greatest, like, it, you know, like from a couple years ago, you had the Mr. Rogers documentary, Won't You Be My Neighbor, which felt like a movie theater documentary experience, and this, I felt like, was unnecessary, and I feel that just takes away from it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we learned a lot of things from it, but... As far as a movie going experience, wait for it to come to a streaming service, if it even will. I, I mean, yeah, right now it only had a release date in theaters, it looks like. I don't know what exactly its plans are going forward, if it'll be something available for rent or if it's going to go to one of the streaming services. I believe that actually a few of the producers worked on a Console Wars documentary that came out, Paramount Plus, that you can watch right oh, now. Okay. Which is, so I feel like, you know, it, it actually kind of had a similar feel to that, and I feel like maybe that's where it'll go, but that I'd be just speculating at this point. But definitely uh, hold out on seeing this. So interest. we're not going to hold our breath for a physical release? No, I wouldn't. So as far as our physical release purposes, I, I mean, you know what? This might, but this definitely feels like eventually this will just end up on streaming. Um, this topic, actually, I was just reading, has a lot of mini-series and docu-series coming out about it and, and another documentary, so... This was obviously a big deal that opened a lot of eyes and is a pretty big story. And, you know, I'm glad to know the specifics of it. Yeah. You know? It was interesting. Yeah, no, it was definitely very interesting. And, um, you know, I can't knock it as far as that. It's a documentary. I just don't think it's a special movie theater documentary where I can recommend to you guys to run out and see it. Like, I would probably give it overall a higher score if I would have saw this at home. Right. If I'm being honest. So. Yeah, it would have been, you know, hanging out on the couch, comfortable, because... We did not see it in the Atmos Theater, and boy, have we been spoiled. Yeah. That theater, whew. Yeah, we just saw it in a regular old-fashioned theater with some regular old-fashioned folding chairs, but we wanted to see this movie in theaters, you know, like we went into it, like Matt said, like with the thought of like, we want to see a GameStop movie where we thought, oh, like our childhood trading games in, you know, giving them a brand new game I bought last week for 60 and getting back $17. That's the kind of movie I thought we were seeing. That's we didn't, high. Yeah. That is high. Because we just saw that it was yeah. in theaters and we thought we'd run out and see it. 
Yeah, I thought there would be some more live action in GameStop, maybe so. I, I was hoping for some nostalgia, maybe some of the older, when it was still EV games or something like that. But I guess the movie was really just based on the whole stock exchange thing with GameStop, so that was my fault for not looking it up. But Yeah, but overall I would say it's a, I still would give it overall, I'd probably give this like a 6 out of 10 if I was going to go final score on this overall. I mean, it's a documentary. It's hard to, to rank a documentary. I, I enjoy documentaries. I really do. And it's something we're interested in. I mean, I guess giving it a score, quality, like the way it was made, edited, and all that stuff, I, I guess it's in the somewhere in the seven, seven and a half. You know, not, mm. not great. Not the best. Mm. Definitely do not need to go to theaters for this. But definitely, if you do have the time, you know, one Saturday afternoon, you know, while the sun's still up, I would say throw this on. It's definitely worth a watch. It's very interesting and, you know, still pretty well made. And, you know, it's a topic that you might be interested in. I'd definitely check it out if you're a fan of this topic or the stock market in general. Like, you know, this might not be a hobby for us. It might, you might get more out of it. Yeah. So... But anyway, guys, thanks again for being here with us, and make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and tell all your friends. Mm -hmm.